We're live. Hello. 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 <laughs> Week 16. Week 16. Here we are. How yeah. exciting. <laughs> it's gone really fast again. It is. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this week, oh, I've had a bit of downtime, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. But uh, I must have needed the rest. So mm. it's all good. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So do you want to do some housekeeping? Yes, I on? do. Uh, what's going on? Okay, my my screen. I turned my screen off, auto turn off, but it's still auto turning off. So. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. As always, we please subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, you can find a link in the description down below because every week we give away a forty-five minute free Hello, well, every, every month. month. <laughs> Thank you. Every month. That's why Nikki's so lovely. Catch me out on all this stuff. Forty-five minute free call with us every month. Uh, and keep an eye on your newsletters, your emails yeah, to see. Check your emails and even junk emails. Yep. Yeah. Because um, we do, within the first couple of days of the next month, of the new month, we do send an email out confirming that, you know, you have got a, a free, you've won a free 45 minute call with us. And yeah, so just make sure you check your junk mails. It shouldn't be in junk mails, but. No. Uh, also, the comments on the side there. Yes. Uh, make sure you leave a comment in there because mm. we will answer them at the end of the call. So if yep. you've got any questions, uh, let us know. Mm. Also, the uh, also for this for the newsletter, you want to subscribe because we have a giveaway for Finco Campo Bayo uh, night two nights yes. for two yeah. up on basically the top of top of El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, and what's wonderful with this, they actually give you um, they're giving you a free coffee tour as well as a free volcano hike yeah so that's pretty cool and then Very your exciting. food's included so yes yep definitely subscribe so you can go in the draw for that we will be put, drawing that out um just before christmas and it is valid for one year yeah so, yep. so if there's any foreigners uh, who are wanting to come and visit anyone yeah. living outside of El Salvador mm. wanting to come and visit mm. uh do that then also um we talked to somebody about mortgages for non-residents and yes. that's been quite interesting as well. We've got an interview to release later yep. and we'll also touch on it again today. And if you'd like more information, I haven't put the link in, but it's on our website and there's a link on our website <laughs> in the description. All right, let's go. Cool. All right. Hey, so this week with James not, not being, or let's say being a little bit under the weather, um, it's a bit short, but we're going to talk more about the mortgages. So really, um, pretty much Monday was just it's a normal catch up for us day. Um, nothing new, but we did have an amazing live last week. So that's always a good one. Um, it was yeah. an action packed live last week. Yes. Yeah. yeah lots, lots especially because of the Bitcoin conference. But anyway, um, yeah, really good. So pretty much it was um, just yeah, doing a our, lot of admin stuff for yeah. work. So Monday's a big, big work yeah. days. I'm doing yeah. a lot today. Uh, Tuesday is also a day of a lot of work. Yeah. This this week, I don't. I feel like we did we get out. We didn't get out. We, we barely got left the house. Really, to be honest. Really so yeah, out. sorry about that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but till Wednesday. Till Wednesday. <laughs> till Wednesday. So on Wednesday, we um, did actually end up going down to Alzante uh, to meet up with some new friends that we've met who were down for the Bitcoin conference. Yes. So it was really great. We had a beautiful dinner with yes. them at Mashante and just nice to connect and meet their family and it was just really lovely it was really yeah. awesome it yeah. was uh we really appreciated that they mm. they took the time out to mm. want to hang out with us and i think they appreciated we took the time yes. out to hang out with them but so it was <laughs> but it was uh yeah it was lovely mm. Mm. just to hang out and talk and so it was good connect. thank you yeah. and yeah yeah so it was really good now thursday it was a bit bigger <laughs> yeah, uh, so we did have our interview with Gladys, who is the lady who's helping us with the mortgages. Well, not helping us with the mortgages, sorry. She is offering mortgages mm. and she's um, she's spreading the word and we're just part of the word spreading. Yes, yeah. So uh, are we going to... I think we'll do it afterwards. We'll then. do it afterwards, yep. okay. Yep. And then we had a trip up to San Salvador to do a little food shop yep. and, we, and we, we did our best to go to the My First Bitcoin... Uh, meet up because it was the Thanksgiving day and it's also the last one they're doing for the year. Mm. We really wanted to go. Yeah, we really and wanted to go. Wow, we learned a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so we learned that the traffic from the beach up to the center of town is really horrific. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even the trip from there. It was from the supermarket to the yeah. there. It took us like seriously. It took us um, one hour to drive eight kilometers. Yeah, yeah, it and was then, crazy. Yeah, and then we ended up in the. I'm a, I must admit. The centre of town in San Salvador at the moment is absolutely stunning. The 
Christmas lights are yeah. stunning. They're beautiful. Um, the the street market is full on. There's buzz. There's lots and lots and lots happening. Uh, it was just really unfortunate that we weren't able to get to the car park to to find where we could go. Yeah. And it was a real bummer. We, we, we weren't prepared for, for what we ex <laughs> what we received. This is what happens when you live at the beach and not not live in the big city. Yeah, you lose yeah. touch with what's happening. Yeah. So uh, we'll be more prepared for next time. We will. Uh, we've got a better idea of where things are yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and we actually ended up going to a nice little roadside diner. We did. Which was pretty cool. Yeah, we found a really cool little roadside diner. So yeah. It was really good. And it's open 24-7. 20, yeah. And we shared that with a friend who yeah. uh, was really interested in roadside diners. <laughs> yeah. So that was really cool. And, um, yeah, <laughs> obviously, I think uh, James was obviously coming under the weather because then by Friday, he wasn't getting out of bed. <laughs> no, yes. I was pretty smashed. Oh, yes. Thursday, I was feeling it. Friday, yeah, uh, yeah that was when I really first started feeling yeah. smashed. Yeah. Yeah, so that was unfortunate. So, so Friday, I just spent the day working on um, the interview video, and yeah, I think I might have gone for a bit of a walk on the beach. I can't remember really. Yeah. yeah so I mean, it was um, James was spent the day sleeping, and I spent the day just. Was Friday the day that you, some guy turned up in his? No, uh, no, no, no. Shirt. That was Saturday. Oh, okay. okay <laughs> no. uh, then Saturday, uh, Nikki went to oh went to the markets yes. and got papooses for breakfast. Yes. So I was happy about that. Dragged myself out of bed, and uh, then Nikki also went to the beach to hang out. And she came back with a really cool story. <laughs> <laughs> Are we not sharing that no, story? We're not sharing, we're not that, sharing story. that story. No, okay, sharing. that's for a private uh, yeah. discussion sometime if but, anyone. But what was really good <laughs> at the beach was uh, I just had had enough of being trapped inside i think and so it was great to get down to the beach it was a beautiful day i had my towel out and i yeah. found a log to lean, lie up against and i journaled i was listening to podcasts so i was down there about two hours just zoning out of of the world and it was really it was just really nice to be able to go and do that yeah, yeah. so close to the beach here it was just wonderful so yeah. we are very lucky living yeah. here we actually we went for a walk today and we we were very thankful for being so mm. close to the beach and just mm. being having that option to have the time out mm. and go and touch the water and yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then Sunday, oh, it was quite fun. I um, did a workout with our neighbours. So, yeah, with a few girls here now, we're starting to um, doing some yoga classes in the morning. We're doing some gym workouts. And it's just a really good to have a team to um, sort of push you along. I mean, James and I, we quite often go to the gym, but we've been really slack. So it was really good just to get another group of yeah. Yeah, girls to, to go and do that with. So, yeah, really pleased to do that. Sort of my shoulders are feeling it a bit today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's just good. And then I also went back down to the beach and had another hour at the beach. And I was really gutted because I wasn't sure what the tides were doing. And there was a nice breeze. The waves aren't very big at the moment, so I could have got my board out. But I also would have wanted James there to get me to get out on the board. Yeah. Lifesaver. Lifesaver. Yeah. yeah, just in case. Just to, yeah. Out there in my, just to uh, watch me because um yeah, you just don't know. Yeah. In my Baywatch gear. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I think I know what we did on Tuesday, which we forgot about. Yeah. Did we have the visitor that was coming to look at houses? I think one of the expats was here to look at houses and we came to visit, hang out, say hello, and I think we had somebody else come around that day as well. No, that was um was that the week before? No, that was on Sunday. Was that the week before? Yeah. <laughs> we already talked about that one. <laughs> So anyway, so as you can see, really short, short week in regards to doing anything that's worth sort of sharing and, and telling. But what we really want to go down the track, are you laughing at? Oh, just my memory at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we really want to go, yeah, because I mean, James, seriously, James has been in bed for yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, yeah. I've, I've sort of just been chilling out, chilling out, but that's all cool. Um, but what we really want to talk about uh, are these mortgages so um what we've done uh, we've uh, met this wonderful lady gladys she is um able to now provide mortgages for non-residents so people who live um anywhere in the world um even salvadorians say if you uh, live up in america and you're wanting to buy you know secure yourself some property down here in El Salvador, you're able to do this. Now, it's um, initially, it's a very simple, um, you just need to provide three years financials and your uh, passport. So that's the initial setup, um, and that's where Gladys can go through it and work out how much you can borrow, how much you can't. Yeah. Then once you have found a property, you um, or if you want to go further down to get a, like a pre-approval for the full finance, you are able to then 
um, you of course have to provide a lot more information. One thing you do need though is a NIT, which is a NET. Now we do have a video um, that tells you how to do that. So you are actually going to have to go to El Salvador. So wherever you are in the world, you are going to have to make a trip to come to El Salvador to get a NET and also to open a bank account. Now, wonderful thing is we've struggled with the yeah. bank accounts, really struggled trying to, well, I mean, initially we ended up getting one, but Gladys has, has connected, the, the bank that she's working with will open um, a bank account for you, and she said it's very easy, so that's yeah. really amazing. And heaps of this information is actually on our PDF. Yes. So go to our website, put in your details. Uh, there's a mm. property link at the bottom. Put in your details, and you'll get a PDF with all this information. Yeah. And if you want more, uh, feel free to contact us. Yes. And we can uh, put you or put you in touch with Gladys, which yeah. is on the PDF. Which is on the PDF yeah. too. There's a you can do a yeah. booking, uh, I, book a um, yeah. appointment with Gladys yeah. on the PDF as well. So I think one of the really mm. amazing things mm. that blew me away was the first thing Gladys said was, "I've got all these Salvadorans yes. who are getting mortgages to come home." Yeah. And we, we were just like, wow, that wasn't what we expected. Yeah. And that's probably the biggest thing we took away from the interview, which I've probably just gone and blown. But <laughs> you early adopters, you get to hear that first. Yeah. And I mean, that's what's so amazing is it's not just, um, you know, for expats from around the world that have got all this money. That's not what it is. Yes, you do have to have an income. You do have to show that you can afford the mortgage. But there is a lot of Salvadorians, you know, was there two million up? Uh, in America, uh, North I'm not America. sure, North America, so Canada as well. And they're now, because of what is happening here, are going, wow, we want to go home. But they still have to provide, you know, they still have to work up and um, they've got their jobs in, in well, America. They're, they're established in established. North America. They're but they want to, yeah, here. so they yeah. want to secure something for their retirement. And now they're able to do this. So this is just really, really it's great. Really exciting. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. And so so we've yeah, got the video. I'll, I'll hopefully have it out in the next couple of days. I've just got a little bit stuck with a couple of things today, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, But it's a great video, great, a lot of information that we're sharing about what you're going to need to provide and what the sports involve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so questions. We're going to do some questions. Yeah, we'll yeah. do some questions. So that's short and sweet. Just um, before we do the questions, yeah. um, I think one is the um, couple of, you know, the newsletter. If you subscribe to our newsletter, you've got two really cool things. One is a 45-minute chat with us too. Yep. Yeah. And we, we will just talk about whatever you want to ask questions you want to ask and we can we'll help you provide services whatever um, yeah yeah, yeah well, we've got cool. we've got a great uh network now mm, mm. so the, our network's very helpful as well yeah oh actually no, i was thinking about the wrong thing but yes yep yeah. ask us questions <laughs> yeah. and then the other thing with the newsletter um is if you subscribe to our newsletter you also get a two-night accommodation at finco cambo Bayo, uh which is an amazing accommodation up in santiana and you get a coffee tour you get a volcano hike you get your food Cradle, Crater Coffee Bistro is also part of them. And so you, I imagine you'll be able to get stop off there. And it's also, it's a really cool yeah. place. To it's be. Uh, it's so, a really cool trip. Yeah. I'd even recommend going up to the Crater Lake, just uh, so Lago Cotepeque. Oh, uh, yes. Just for the day. Like you can yeah. drive up there about an hour, an hour and a half from, well, about an hour from San Salvador. Yeah, easy, because it was an hour and a half for us. An hour and a half for yeah. us. And go up there and you can enjoy the lake which mm. we really enjoy yeah, it was refreshing it's really beautiful yeah really really beautiful so yeah and um right questions questions uh, yeah have we got, okay yeah I yep so. i do so uh z60 says hi hello thank you thanks for tuning in yeah. we appreciate it <laughs> and donald wrote us hi guys i suppose the conference was a success yes it was we had a quick chat about it uh last week yes but we 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 really enjoyed it yeah. And we've been following up with a lot of people who were there and they've had great reviews about yeah. it. Uh, that was our first Bitcoin conference, but a lot of people who have been to many mm. were basically saying they, they thought it was really good. Yeah. Uh, it was very developer focused. Yes. And very and, and and it wasn't crypto. It was Bitcoin. Bitcoin it was very only. Bitcoin. And which is yeah. great. Which is yeah. very good. Yeah. So one of the really uh, good things that we saw is, and heard about was a yeah. lot of Salvadorans who went for $21 yes. and I think that was really good for them to go and see because mm. they could see the diverse, the real diversity mm. of what Bitcoin is. It's mm. not just money. Uh, there's a whole heap of people doing really interesting things 
and i think that was quite yeah. apparent with the workshops that were there and the stages and what mm. people talked about so if mm. you're thinking about going next year you can start booking already yes uh but salvadorans get to go well they well, i assume they'll get to go for 21 yeah. dollars again yeah and the other other thing is um you talk about sort of you know how people are feeling about bitcoin in el salvador uh it's definitely you know a lot of people go oh bitcoin in el salvador one year it should be you know far you know everyone should have adopted it by now it should yeah. be massive Why isn't blah, blah, blah. It fully yeah, adopted? Yeah. but that's not <laughs> you know what what's adopted and what's happened is incredible in one yeah. year it's absolutely incredible and i think that's yeah. something that was really um a lot of people realized and a lot of people sort of got it yeah that the fact that in everybody is you know there was i mean so many people were out there trying to orange pull people from all around el salvador there was a yeah. lot of a lot of education i think my prima bitcoin my prima bitcoin and their diploma uh, it's great they're oh. going to have it they're going to have it in english soon but you can download the free diploma and that was really successful and housekeeping mm. matter on that we've gone and added the free diploma to our website because it's mm. uh it was a little bit tricky to find because we discovered that me being there bitcoin haven't gone and added it to their website yet but I've noticed they're tweeting about it more. Mm. But if you go to our website, with link down below, you can go there and download the Spanish PDF. As soon as the English one comes out, we'll add it. Yeah. Um, so the, the further on to that was, were you able to perceive it firsthand if the participants are optimist about Bitcoin in the future? Mm. And what are your impressions? Yeah, everyone who was there was optimist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, it has dropped down. Um, but again, the, val the, the value, value has, has dropped. The, the value that has dropped. The um, functionality and the spirit has oh, no, no, it's high, not. no, it's very high. Yeah, because, yeah. There's so many people are going by the dip. You know, there's so many people like scrambling around selling things off to to carry on buying. But uh, it, it, it's not yeah. even that. Like the people that are there are builders, and yes, they see yeah. what the technology offers, and the mm. price is not not the most important thing to them. No. It's the freedom that Bitcoin offers, and I think uh, to Nikki's point, where people mm. were talking about the adoption rate, one thing to keep in mind is that. Anybody can actually download the Chivo. Well, sorry, any any Salvadoran that's uh, of eighteen years mm. or older can and has a Dewey can in her phone can download the Chivo wallet, and they can start receiving US dollars or Bitcoin mm. today. Mm. And so they're not being forced to, but they have the choice and the the tools are there for them if they run a small business to to be part of this. And I think it's really yeah. awesome that the adoption isn't restricted to uh salvadorans other than the, the basically the dewey and the phone yeah uh situation but if you're running a small business most people have a dewey and a phone yeah. so they meet these requirements to onboard themselves yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's great it's really cool it's really exciting really good yeah um now there's a spanish one that you might need. there's a spanish one which unfortunately <laughs> let's give it a go que tanto efecta sus flames que el bitcoin tiene valor Sorry, Nephi. My, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, my, we, Nephi, my Spanish. This is this is really shameful. It's not good enough to translate that on the fly. Yeah. Uh, what tento afecta su plenos? Uh, man or man? Hi. Mm -hmm. I have been watching you since your arrival to El Salvador. It's been a pleasure to watch and listen to your experience so far. Uh, <laughs> to me, you're already Salvador Salvadorianos. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you very <laughs> much. Uh, we appreciate. Thanks, man, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you watching. Mm. And, uh, commenting and spending the time with us. Yeah. And Donato, again, there is a question down there about how your plans are affected if Bitcoin is losing its value. Oh, okay. Uh, so is that Nephi's a... question? Thank you. Gracias, Don uh, Donato. Oh, Donato. Um, okay. So, no, our plans aren't affected um, by the the price of what Bitcoin is at the moment. We, we've made a big move to come to El Salvador. Mm -hmm. We have been, um, James has been um, hodling Bitcoin for quite a few years, which is great. I started when Bitcoin was at the highest price and all I'm doing is dollar cost averaging and buying down. We, um, of course, one of the things, I suppose one of the things that may be is the fact that we would have bought a property or bought some land if the Bitcoin price had been at the higher price yep. um, at this point in time. But we, we're just going to wait. We, we've got a yeah. great place we're renting. We're quite happy to be renting it. And yeah. Yeah. Does that and there's, yeah, no, it's great. Mm. And there's different reasons to come into Bitcoin. Mm. One is to see it as an investment vehicle mm. where the price is 
the most important thing. And then another is to look at it as a currency where the utility becomes more of an important thing. And some people just enjoy it in yeah. terms of being part of a movement. Yeah. Uh, and there's lots of other reasons as well, such as property rights. So that means having self-sovereignty over mm -hmm. your own property, which is super powerful. And that's another, re like, yeah. we're not here just for one aspect of Bitcoin. No. We're here for many aspects. Yes. And, and one of the great things is using the lightning, you know, so, oh, yeah. so we still, of course, earn money in the fiat system. So we, we transfer it across. So we, you know, definitely hodl some, but we also transfer it across to use it in our lightning wallet. So we're spending as much as we can. We're trying to live on the Bitcoin standard yeah. and, um, and that's fine. Like we, yeah, to do that, I think. Oh, it's yeah, exciting. It's, it's, it's so much fun. It's the only place yeah. in the world where you can come and use Bitcoin as a currency, mm. as a legal tender without the fear of weird government restrictions or taxations or, or financial rules. Mm. This is a unique place in the world. I think it's amazing that El Salvador has offered this opportunity to its people and mm -hmm. uh, anyone who wants to come here and do it. Uh, people aren't being forced, which uh, I think some people believe it is forced, but mm. It's, mm. it's an option that's been added, yeah. much like credit cards were added yeah. as an option to make payments. Mm. And I think it's awesome that it's there. I don't get upset if people, merchants don't accept it, but it's yeah. okay for me, for yeah. us to ask if they do, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I know it is. It's, and I think the more people who start understanding it, the more people who, you know, the more times that we talk to people and ask, then the more times they're going to start questioning, oh, what is it? Why can't, you know, maybe I need to look more into it. Yeah. Uh, you know, like our um, uh, Marlene from our coconut vendor video, she's now looking at doing the diploma, which is so exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, you know, because she's, she's got the smarts, she's got the brains to be able to do it, and then she'll have an even more better understanding on what, um, what Bitcoin is and yeah. the purpose for her to be accepting it and why she should be accepting it. Yeah. So. Uh, Z60, do you have your own Bitcoin Lightning node? Yes, we run something called an Umbrel and also a start nine and start nine embassy these are two different uh nodes which are very plug and play compared to a lot of others so if you're looking at something uh to start with both of those are really good options mm -hmm. and fabian thank you yeah i like my top too <laughs> yes. oh i missed that thank you fabian <laughs> how did i miss that one Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just left it for you to pick it up. Uh, Guillermo, I really like that you both make people think different about El Salvador. Keep, thank you. Thank we, you. We appreciate Guillermo. that. Yeah. Um, we're here to, we're here to be part of this great adventure mm. that El mm. Salvador is offering. And we, and we, we love experience what El Salvador has to offer. You know, we haven't had a bad experience i don't think no i'm just trying to think are we you know we it's it's new it's different i mean we've been here 10 months but there's still so much we haven't seen and so much we've oh, yeah. done it's just incredible yeah and our um friends um if in if in a van life um they've just done a couple of youtube videos on our salvador and i'm going oh, we haven't even been to half the places that they've been to and it's just amazing i mean they were just slipping through yeah. over a couple of weeks so you know i think that's the difference between coming yeah. as a tourist mm. and doing touristy things versus mm. coming to set up your life yeah and prioritizing your life first yeah so, yeah yeah all right so, and, and donato thank you it is a colorful top yes yeah, yeah. i'm going salvadorian this is not quite salvadorian loud but it's, it's yeah. not as salvadorian <laughs> loud as is what we see sometimes but it is yeah it is yeah, yeah. it's good no, it's i like good. it yeah. thank you very much all right yep. We're going to end it there. That's basically yeah. uh, 30 minutes. We don't want to go too much longer than that. No. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank yep, you for really all your questions. It. Yeah, really appreciate it. And watch out for this new video. Sign mm -hmm. up to our newsletter. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, and we'll see you. Have a great week. Yes. Uh, use Lightning. Ask yes. your vendors if they – oh, we forgot about our tips. Oh, no. Ask, ask <laughs> vendors if they will accept Lightning, even if you know they don't. Yeah. Um, actually, I think we had we had an experience like that this week, didn't we? Yeah. And even if you've got a favorite store that's on the Bitcoin Beach Wallet, yeah. a favorite store that you like going into, just practice it. And you can, because you can go onto them, the map, 
of the store, I mean, the map on the Bitcoin Beach wallet, and you can choose where your favorite store is and you can send them just a few stats, sets. And, and it's just something fun to do. Just go, thank you. Yes. They really appreciate it. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's just something fun. Actually, on that note, <laughs> uh, this is dragging out, but <laughs> on the Bitcoin Beach wallet, they quietly did an update specifically for small merchants in the last, I think, uh, over conference. Yeah. So yes. in the last two weeks, and it's hidden away in the settings. So in the top right hand corner, you got a gear, and you can go to the settings, and there's merchant tools in there. Yeah. So really cool. this is really super helpful for any small vendors who want to. Uh, basically get their staff using yeah. the wallet as well. Yeah. It's really uh, cool. Yeah, no, it does. It's really good. Um, man, oh, man, yes, it is a short one. Mondays are our live. They're normally only up to 30 minutes. We do do our full live once a month, so we will be um, We're at, We, we need to that. book it in. Yeah, we'll be promoting that soon, yeah. so that will be in the beginning of December. So, yeah, just so you Which is next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we may have the Bitcoin Beach meetup. They don't seem to be doing it. So, yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a great week. Yep. Use lightning, support the network. Yeah.